It is my great honor to join you every single day on the podcast. I can't tell you what a gift it is to be able to walk with God with you on this journey and talk with today's amazing Christian thought leaders. You know, if you know me and you listen often enough, I care about the whole part of your story, mind, body, spirit. A former fitness professional, I was in the industry for over a decade, and then, of course, someone who's battled with a chronic illness for three decades. I care a ton about your health, and I've learned so much. And the big joke, if you listen often enough, is I'm not a doctor, but I play one on radio. I read a lot. I learn a lot. I'm fascinated by the fact that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. So it's such an honor to have Dr. Troy on the show every month to talk about health and the healing process. I love talking to Dr. Lee Warren, a neuro brain spine surgeon. He comes with such a unique perspective on the physiological implications of renewing your mind. I mean, if you read scripture, you know there are spiritual implications to renewing your mind. But did you know your thoughts that you think on a regular basis produce these chemical reactions in your body? So if you're thinking negatively, it's harming you. If you're thinking redemptively, not just positively, but truly redemptively, it's actually helping to heal you. That matters. So we talk about that every month. I love that we get to talk to Jeff Kinley, a Bible prophecy expert, to talk about these latter days and how to navigate with a heart of faith, hope, and love. I love that we get to talk to leaders like Max Lucado, Lisa Brevere, and other great leaders who help us be fierce in our faith. Jamie Winship is another favorite. In fact, if you've not heard my conversations with Jamie Winship, you'll have to do a search. My name, Susie Larson, comma, Jamie Winship, and my assignment to you is to listen to every show I've ever done with Jamie. Anybody that's really taken the challenge and listened to all of those shows has gotten back to me to say, game changer, life changer. I challenge you to do that. Anyway, all that to say, we work hard every day, prayerfully asking God who it is we should talk to to help you live out your faith in a robust, powerful way. But the thing is, we can't do this without listener support. We are a listener-supported ministry, and these podcasts are only available because of your support, and you are needed to keep the ministry moving forward. We are on the home stretch, and we would love for you to join us. If you've never given before, would you prayerfully consider sowing seeds in and through Faith Radio? When you give through Faith Radio, you help us to reach the world with the good news of Jesus Christ. And I'm especially passionate, as I said, about the whole person. But I think Jesus was too. If you follow him around the Gospels, you'll find that he cared very much about the human condition. So that is why I try to go after these topics of mind, body, spirit, because we are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are a masterpiece created anew in Christ Jesus. Why? So that you can do the wonderful things he planned for you long ago. My hope and prayer every day is I can get you to agree with the truth that you're a masterpiece. You're a work of art, created anew in Christ Jesus, and that the Lord has established and determined a purpose for you long before you ever took your first breath. And we are literally our best selves when we are in step and in alignment with God's thoughts towards us, his promises for us, and you know what? His will for us. That's why I am motivated every day. I've been at this a long time, and I'm more energized than ever to tackle this assignment because I feel like the days require it. Yes, the darkness is getting darker, but Scripture says the darkness cannot extinguish the light. In fact, the light is what dispels the darkness. And we have this light shining in our hearts. It's the light of Christ. The more that you walk intimately with the Lord, the more that you prioritize his voice in your ear, his word in your heart, his purpose in your steps, the brighter you will shine for the kingdom in this day. And when you shine brightly, it points the way home for others. Would you consider partnering with us on this very important mission? You know, none of us knows how many days we have left, how many hours we have left on this earth. In fact, Jesus could return at any time. But he asks us to live with eternity in mind. 
And I believe it's a biblical statement to say he means that in our time, treasure, and talents, that we steward all of the opportunities he's given us for the kingdom. And would you believe about 93% of Christians never give anything to any kind of ministry? I've researched this, and I really believe mostly it's because of fear that there won't ever be enough. Well, that's a scarcity mindset, and it's not from God. Jesus promised that you sow into the kingdom. You take care of the kingdom. He will take care of you. I pray you'd even just dip your toes in if you never have before. Start with a small gift and see if God won't replenish your storehouses. See if God won't take care of you in a way that surprises you. Maybe you start with a $40 gift, or maybe you want to do a cannonball and jump in with a Team 40 gift where it's a $40 a month gift. We're not going to come after you. You can make a pledge and then sow into it as the Lord leads. And it's a great way to practice the art of giving and to exercise the muscle of faith for giving. We once, Kevin and I, were fearful givers. We were hit and miss givers in our early years of marriage because of so much medical debt. But we learned the secret of the promises of Scripture. And now generosity is a core value in our marriage, and we wouldn't have it any other way. I dare you to become a generous person. I dare you to become an abundant sower. Will you sow into the ministries and into your local church in a way that puts a flag in the ground to say, I I'm trusting God to replenish my storehouses. I'm seeking first his kingdom, his righteousness, and I believe all these things will be added unto me. You can trust him. And again, we don't give to get, we get to give. But because we get to give, God promises to provide seed to the sower and bread for food. So this is our final day. It's your last chance to let us know that you're in on the mission. No more waiting. It's your time to join the giving family, and you are still needed right now. Will you give us your best gift today? You can text the word GIVE to 877-933-2484 or give safe and secure online at myfaithradio.com. May God bless you for your generosity, and may he surprise you with his provision in your life. We sure appreciate you. Thanks again. Thanks again.